vehicle is driven into a curve too quickly, it goes out of control. The lateral forces thrust the vehicle out of the curve, and as it breaks away, the vehicle goes into a skid due to the rotary forces around the vertical axis. The Electronic Stability Program, ESP, counteracts these forces. By selectively applying a braking pulse at individual wheels, it diminishes the rotary forces around the vehicle's vertical axis. This stabilizes the vehicle, and the driver remains in full control. tractor with its split brake pedal, which permits separate braking of the rear wheels on either the left or the right hand side. If while driving the brake is applied to the rear wheel on the right hand side, it creates a moment about the vertical axis of the vehicle. The tractor describes a right hand curve even though the steering wheel isn't being moved. In other words, braking can also be employed to steer. A similar situation to the one we saw earlier. Two drivers swerve sharply. The driver with ESP has no problem. The one without ESP goes into a skid. In trying to get back into lane again, oversteering causes the rear of the car to break away. By targeted braking of the front wheel on the outside of the curve, ESP creates a braking force, initially on the left side of the vehicle, then on the right. Each time, this creates a moment around the vertical axis which counteracts oversteering. In the case of unintentional understeering, the moment is created by the brake acting on the rear wheel on the inside of the curve. In this way, stability is maintained and the vehicle brought back to the ideal line. Right, come on, here he comes. First time round in the McLaren. I can't wait. Come on. Well, actually, no, let's step back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Turning in with a big oversteer out, flip, get never trying to pass like it. And now, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't look comfy in it. <laughs> I'm not having so much fun. Well, well. Well, edgy. Yeah, you look a bit twitchy. 
It's nothing like as consistent. I'm going to have to learn to drive this more than I did the Ferrari that was instantly putty in my hands. Come on, Tiff. You know what the kids want? Yeah. They want a big Tiff drift. Give me a chance. The trouble was, I was trying to make the McLaren do exactly what it's programmed not to do. Flick it. Go, go, Tiff. Go. Now, send it. Oh, we go. We're off. Tiffo, 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 Tip! What's going on, man? What's going on? Even with the traction control turned off, the car reduced the torque just when I needed it to hold the drift. Then, as the rear tyres began to grip and I was starting to steer out of the slide, the car tried to save itself with brake steer, all of which combined to create the massive overcorrection that turned us into a high-speed lawnmower. You're not happy with it, are you? No. Isn't that it doesn't interesting? It does to be power slid, basically. It's not... The final test was my fast lap where the McLaren was a tenth of a second slower than that Ferrari. But how did it feel? Did he like it? Did he like it? Did he like it? And... I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs>